en ce lieu, oh, je vois la Shekina. Yo Joe, yo Joe, yo Joe, est-ce que tu es embassé Let us pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, thank you for the Holy Spirit in this place. Thank you for this year of miracles, signs and wonders. It's the first Sunday of the year. We believe in all our hearts that the God of our Father is in this place. In His fullness with power and character. I thank you for all that you are going to say and to do in this first Sunday. And I promise to give you back all the praise and all the glory. And to give honor to my father and my mother, Prophetess Yubel Angel and Prophetess Beverly Angel. I bless this time as I come taking the fly and coming here in Arare, Zimbabwe. This Sunday is a Sunday of miracles. Everybody here know how we begin the service, but they can't imagine how we are going to finish. Because the angel of the Lord is in this place. Working and ministering to give everybody the portion of his miracle in this day. We believe in you. We pray with faith and we receive in the mighty name of Jesus. And we say amen. Give to the Lord a clap of praise. I want to hear your joy. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Spirit Embassy. Are you there? Are you there? Look at 10 people and, and give high five to your neighbor and tell him that today is my day. Uh, this Sunday is my Sunday. Sunday of miracles. Sunday of miracles. Even you don't like me, you will see miracles in my life. This Sunday is my Sunday. La sopra lendeco sopra. Ay, 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 ay. I feel the anointing of my father in this place. This is incredible. Oh yes, oh yes. Oh, I give you more bonus of five people. Five person. Yes, five more person. Yes, I five and tell him that this Sunday is my Sunday. It's the Sunday of my miracle. Yes, yes, five more person. Give a big clap of praise for the Lord. And have your seat please. In the presence of the Almighty God. Wow. Do you feel what I'm feeling? Do you feel it? To him be all the praise and all the glory. I give to the Lord all the glory for this time to bring me here. I thank the Lord of our father and our mother, prophetess, major prophet. No, senior major prophet. No, emeritus senior major prophet. Yubel Angel and Prophetess BB Angel to send me here in Arare, Zimbabwe, the best country in all the world. Woo! Ah, ah, mira, 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 mira. Hey! <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Say, oh, really? The weight of your glory. Mira, 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 mira. Huh? Maybe in English you will not understand, understand what I'm talking about. Hmm? Can I speak in Shona? Ndatumwa Kwamuri Na Baba Oh, really? Mira, 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 mira. Ndatuma kwa muri. Nda baba. For you. Oh, really? The way of your glory. Oh, release, release the song. Come on. Mira, mira. Take your seat. Tell your neighbor, Mira. 
if the anointing is more increasing today, I will, speak, I will preach in Shona. Can I begin to the word? I give to the Lord of my Father all the praise and all the glory to send me here. I am not your father, I'm your brother. I am the French one. Huh? The French one. But now I'm, I'm preaching in English because of you. You know that the, the last time I was here, I was preaching in, in English. It was my first time. And I have the chance and the favor to preach in front of you. Because you give me self-confidence. It's because of you that I'm preaching in English now. It's because of you. Oh, tell to your neighbor, mira, mira, mira. So, I thank you also to trust in me and believing that I can preach in English. So, you feel that today is flowing. Am I flowing? Yeah. It's easy. I'm not going to do small, small. I will do great, great. Yeah. yeah. You know, I don't come just only to preach. I will preach. I will prophesy. And I will, mi- I will minister signs, wonders, and miracles. Hey, I come here with the anointing of my father. Hmm? You know, our father is the father of many nations. He's not only the prophet of Zimbabwe. He's the prophet of Congo, of Burundi, of Canada. Do you hear what he, he have done there in Canada? It was crazy. In UK, it's crazy. I was in, in the month of October in Kinshasa. And I was preaching in a conference. And I was just like, now I'm going to... Do you know my father? People were just... Eh? You know Prophet Jubal Angel? They say yes. Do you know Miracle Money? They say yes. I say, okay, o- open your bag. And people open their bag. And their pocket. I say, today you are going to see something you never saw in Kinshasa. <laughs> eh? As I spoke in the name of Jesus, under the anointing of my father, money began to appear. And it's going to be so today. Ah! Uh, Do you believe? Shout, yeah! Yeah, yeah! You know, and now the media in Kinshasa are just accusing me, criticizing me. That is magic. That is Freemason. I say that that, that is nothing. You are going to see more. John chapter 5, verse 20. The father loved the sons and is showing him great uh, uh, mirror, uh, all that he's doing and is going to show him more mir- great, uh, greatest miracle just for you to be marvel. Amen. And I feel that today is a great day. Can I prophesy? <laughs> Tell your neighbor, Mira, Mira. I will preach. I will pray for you. I'm telling you, I will pray for you. With all my heart, all my my strength, I will pray for you today. And you will begin to see miracle today. We are spirit embassy. The embassy of the Holy Spirit. Oh, if I begin now, I will I will I will just huh? Take your Bible, please. Let me preach. The first message of the year, of the Sunday, the first Sunday message. Can you take your Bible and if you can stand up, we are going to read the word of the Lord. Are you ready? Just the piano to play. Just, yes. Mm -hmm. Mm Mm-hmm. 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 I like that. Say it again. Yes. Say it again. <laughs> That's power. Hey, power there, power there. There, 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 power. There, 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 power there. There is power, power. 
<laughs> Let me read. Are you ready? Genesis chapter 45. We are going to read verse 9 to verse 28. Genesis chapter 45, verse 9 to verse 28. Are you ready? Are you ready? I feel the anointing. A fresh anointing. For a fresh season. Are you ready? Are you ready? So, let us begin. We can begin in the verse... Um, the same melody yes but we can begin in the verse uh, 12 and behold your eyes see and the eyes of my brother Benjamin that it's this my mouth that speaks unto thee and he shall tell my father all of my glory in Egypt and all of that he have seen. And he shall ask and bring down my father Hitler. And he fell upon his brother Benjamin's neck and wept. And Benjamin wept upon his neck. Moreover, he kissed and his, uh, uh, all his brethren and wept upon them. And after that his brethren talked with him and and the fame there thereof thereof as uh, was heard in Pharaoh's house saying Joseph brethren are come and it pleased Pharaoh well and his servants and Pharaoh said unto Joseph say unto thy brethren this to he laid your breasts and go get you, you into the land of Canaan and take your father and your household and come unto me and I will give you the good of the land of Egypt and you shall eat the fat of the land. Am I speaking to you? Yes. Now the heart commanded this to he take your wagons and of the land of Egypt for your leaders little ones and for your wives and bring your father and come also not your stuff for the good of the land of Egypt is yours can I prophesy the good of this country will be yours do you receive it you are going to be the number one in this country all of all of the good of the land will be yours. It's the time in this country all of, all of this is good will be for the Christian. Can you say amen? amen. Can you say amen? amen? And the children of Israel did so. And the Joseph gave them w wagons. Is like that? Mm -hmm. According to the command of Pharaoh and gave them provision for the way. Verse 45. And they went up out of Egypt. And they came into the land of Canaan into Jacob their father and told him saying Joseph is yet alive and is the governor over all the land of Egypt and Jacob heart fainted for he believed them not mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and they told him all the words of Joseph which he had said unto them and when he saw, and when he saw, tell to your neighbor, and when he saw, mm. when he saw, this year you are going to see. Uh -huh. Talking too much, talking too much. No, this year you are going to see. Mm. Say amen, somebody. Mm -hmm. Which he had said unto them, and when he saw, Kaba Shapra. When he saw the wagons which Joseph had sent to carry him, the spirit of Jacob, their father, re revived. And Israel, they are not speaking about Jacob, but now Israel. Mm -hmm. 
That is the mystery of, of the new birth. But, but Israel said, it's enough. Joseph, my son, is yet alive. I will go and see him before I die. You are not going to die like this. Your husband is not going to die like this. Your wife is not going to die like this. Your children are not going to die like this. You are going to see the goodness of God before you die. Shout amen, somebody. Take your seat, please, in the presence of the Lord. You know, it's one thing to be in the church and another thing to be in the presence of God. Many people come into the church service, attend the church service, but they are not going into the presence of the Lord. So I want you to be under the anointing and to be in the presence of God. Tell your neighbor, be in the presence of God. Mm, tell your neighbor, I'm in the presence of God. So this morning, I'm going to minister in different anointing. I will begin like a doctor. I will teach. I will preach like an evangelist. And I will close the service as a prophet. Shout the men somebody. So I will begin first. I'm with you all this week. So today I'm going mira mira. And I'm going to, to, to teach like a doctor to explain things. And after I will preach like an evangelist. And I will close the service like a prophet. Can you shout amen? Can you shout amen? Tell your neighbor this is your season of miracles. Give a clap of praise to the Lord. As I begin to preach. Amen. My topic of this morning is miracles. Very simple. But deep. Miracles. Why? Because we are in the year of miracles. And God talked to our father. And let him know that this year. For this family. We are going to work. In miracles. As we are family. We are family. You know in the Old Testament. The prophetic anointing was working. In its fullness. In the context of a family. When the Bible say that. In your, son, your sons and daughters shall prophesy. If they are sons and daughters. They are also mother and fathers. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. In the time of the tabernacle of David, there was family of Azaph, Jeditum, and Eman. There was working in the prophetic anointing with music, with the sons. So the prophetic anointing is working in its fullness in the context of family. So I come to speak to the family of Spirit Embassy. As I'm sent to our father and mother. Can I begin? Can I begin? So, we read the Bible in the book of Genesis. Genesis is the first, the first book of the Bible, as you know. We have five books, and we call it in Hebrew the Torah. Genesis, Exodus, Leviticus, Numbers, and Deuteronomy. Amen. And Genesis is the book of the beginning. Beginning of all things. Of the sin, of the family, of the earth. Of the covenants, of the title, of all things, is the beginning of all things. And Exodus is the big, Exodus is the is the book of redemption. When they begin, they fall in sin, and God, through Moses, through a prophet, used that man to redeem his people. And the last thing that is he he done he have done is to take a lamb and to Kill the lamb for the redemption of the people. So Exodus is the book of redemption. Leviticus is the book of, of worship. Because we begin somewhere, we are redeemed somewhere, and we are redeemed to worship God. And God trained us how to worship, how to have true worship. Can you say amen somebody? And after that is the book of numbers. Numbers is the book of experience. Because when you are when you are born, you are saved, you are beginning to be a worshiper, you are going to, to pass into experience. 
you are going to be in the in the in the dark place you are going to be in the in the in the, in the desert ah english come on say amen somebody you are going to be in a dry place why because is the because all of us are going to pass through the book of numbers can you say amen but I praise God because God is very, excuse me to say that, God is crazy. God established the seventh feast of the Lord in the dry place. Can you understand that? God said that in the place, in the dry place, you have no water, nothing to eat. Uh huh. You don't have houses. You don't have cows. But you are going to, to celebrate there. Seven feasts. Can you imagine that? That's why I'm telling to somebody today of spirit and mercy. We are in numbers. But we are going to celebrate. Why? Because we know that we are, we are not in Egypt. We are not also in, the, uh, in our lands. But we are coming. Slowly. Because we are passing through the, through the season of of dry place of experience and after that is the book of the autonomy the autonomy is the book of god is reminding them the lord is reminding them how he bring them in genesis exodus leviticus and numbers and god is reminding them all the promises that he give he gave them and he also give them new instruction because after the autonomy is Joshua. I want to tell to somebody today. If God in this season is talking to you about the, the past promise that he gave you. When you were born again. He reminds you the vision. He reminds you the message that you hear. Five years ago. Ten years ago. Let me tell you that you are in the autonomy. Because God is reminding you where you are coming from why because in a few days you are entering in the day of joshua can you say amen somebody and i'm prophesizing over you that the time of your conquest arrived now you are going to take the land say amen somebody say amen somebody i prophesy the book of joshua now in your life if you are there say amen and when you you read the bible in the old testament there is many people, many things, many feasts, many events that is like the, the, the shadow of the work of Jesus Christ and his life. But there is no one in the Old Testament that his life is the same as Jesus' life, like Joseph. If you watch over the life of Joseph, you will see that is exactly the life of Jesus. Can I bring it on? Uh-huh, can I? Now I'm teaching like a doctor. Can you say amen? Joseph was the beloved son of his father. And his father gave him a special court among all his brethren. Can you say amen? And when Jesus was in the Jordan and John the Baptist bring him out of the, of the water, the voice spoke when the Holy Spirit came and said that this is my beloved son. And I put all my pleasure on him. Can I say? Can I say more? And he has a special cut upon him. That's why his own brother gets jealousy of him. You know that? That's why in Luke chapter 4 verse uh, 18, Jesus said that the spirit of the Lord is upon me. Because he gave me a special cut. That was the anointing. He gave me the, the spe- a special cut. Why? To minister and to hear the sick. Say amen somebody. When the father of Joseph called him before he sent him to his brother. Joseph said, here I am my father. Exactly in Hebrew. When the father was looking after all the sacrifice. Who is going to come and die for the sin of the world. You know what? Jesus said in the book. They are talking to me. Uh Uh-huh. And here I come, O oh Lord, to do thy will. Uh-huh. Can I say more? The brother of Joseph was jealous. 
and take the brother and the and the and the sword him to people who are not Jews for for some pieces huh? pieces pieces exactly in the New Testament the brother of Jesus the own brother take Jesus and they sold him to the to, to the people who are not Jews to the Romans for some pieces and you know what the brother of Joseph who take the initiative to to sold him his name of Judah his name was Judah his name was Judah I said his name was Judah it's Judah who say that no no we don't have to kill him we just sell him and it's finished and among the 12 apostles hey Shaka the 12 apostles the one who take the initiative to, to sell Jesus it was Judah Joseph was in Egypt and they took him they bring him in the prison and when he was out he ruled seated in the right end of Pharaoh the biggest king in that time and Jesus also he go under the earth he preached to the spirits in captivity and when he went out he said all the power of has given to, unto me and he sits into the right end of the father can I talk to, can, can I talk to somebody can I talk to somebody shout amen if I can bring it on when he was in prison before he got to the pharaoh he has two people in his time of struggle one go out to reign and one go out to die exactly my jesus when he went in the cross he has two people two people one go for the rain and the other one go for the uh, go for what can I say can I bring it on when Joseph was in prison he has two people when gave to the king bread and one give gave to the king wine the wine and the bread La Zopra. the wine and the bread uh-huh do you, do you understand? The wine and the bread. Exactly when Jesus take the bread, he said, this is my flesh. This is my body. He took the wine and he said, this is my blood. Can you shout them in somebody? Joseph began his ministry in the house of Pharaoh. He has 13 years old exactly jesus begin his ministry in israel he has 30 years old can you say amen joseph married not a jew huh? but an egyptian and jesus married a zimbabwean a congolese a burundi can you shout amen somebody and when you read in the Bible, Bible is talking about three men Joseph in the Bible, in the Oste, in all the Bible, three men Joseph. First of all, is the Joseph son of Jacob. Second is the Joseph father of Jesus. Third is the Joseph of Arimathea. Is that Joseph father, uh, 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 son of Jacob, Joseph father of Jesus, and Joseph of Arimathea. And that three Joseph has the same common point. It was the as minister, the, the as the ministry of preservation before manifestation. Preservation before, before, before. The same ministry, preservation before manifestation. The, uh, Joseph, the son of Jacob, preserved. 70 Jews in Egypt before the manifestation like a nation in the world. Joseph, son, Joseph, father of Jesus, preserved the baby Jesus in Egypt 
before his manifestation like the Messiah, Messiah in Israel. Just a father of Jesus. Preserve the baby Jesus in Egypt before his manifestation like the Messiah, Messiah in Israel. Jesus, uh, Joseph of Arimathea preserved the, the death body of Jesus three days before his, the, his manifestation Huh? Like the reason one. Can you shout amen? amen? Preservation and manifestation. I love my God. God is a God of preservation. Before manifestation. When you saw God manifest somebody, it's because God preserved him, first of all. And when you saw God preserve you, know that he don't forget you. Preserve is to reserve. Preserve is to protect Preserve is to bring in my is, is, is to bring in maturity. Preserve is to is to prepare because of the of the due time, the time of manifestation. I was praying two weeks ago, and the Lord showed me a big cloud in the heaven, and I saw exposition in French exposition. And God told me that this year is going to here to be the year of manifestation. God is going to expose you. To expose your gift, your talent, your knowledge, Karaba, your anointing. Can you shout amen, somebody? People don't know you. Huh? They are just judging you, but they don't know you. God is seeing what you are doing in secret. And what you are doing in secret, you are going to do it now in public. Can you shout amen, somebody? I'm speaking to one David here. You are, you are there in secret. Playing, 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 playing. Nobody knows you. Nobody gives you offering. You are just playing, playing. And I'm telling you now, the same instrument of music that you are playing in the secrets, you are going to play bef- oh, in the front of the king. Can you shout amen somebody? I'm talking to Moses. You have your... Ah? Your qua? Huh? 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 Rod, the same rod that you, the same rod that you had in your hand in secret, God is telling me to tell you. Nobody saw when the metanoia was done to a road to a serpent. But now, the same thing that you are, you are doing in the secret, you are going to do it in public. Can you say amen somebody? Can you shout amen somebody? If you are like that small boy with your five, huh? five fish, five bread, and two fish in secret the lord is telling me to tell you that now is your season the small is going to multiply to be million to be billion and to be con- oh parashata and to be by by many people i'm telling you that this year is your year of manifestation can i prophesy this year is your year of manifestation I'm telling to somebody, this year is your year of manifestation. Be ready. I said be ready. I said be ready. God is telling me that this year is going to expose new faces. He's going to, to, to put behind the scene new person, new prophets, new ministry, new businessmen. Because it's the year of manifestation. You were preve- preserved so long five years 10 years 12 years and you're asking to yourself the lord forget me no god never forgot you you are just preserved like a baby like a baby like a baby night mouth you are preserved now the lord is telling me to tell you push push now because it's the time of manifestation it's the time of release can you shout amen somebody tell your neighbor manifestation i can hear you I can hear you. 
I can hear you. Say to your neighbor, manifest. Manifest your power. Manifest your glory. Manifest your knowledge. Manifest your understanding. Manifest your money. Manifest your Omara Satra. Uh, you were in secret. Now God is going to expose you. It was the time of preservation. Now is the season of manifestation. Can you say amen, somebody? I say manifestation. That's your neighbor manifestation. Mm-hmm, 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 mm-hmm. I say manifestation. Manifestation. Mm, I was in secret for many years. Now is my year of manifestation. It's not by my fault. The Lord will preserve me because He was preparing me now to be out and to show my my capacity and to show my potential and to show my knowledge and to show my anointing and to show my sermons and to show my healing gift and to show my healing uh, my gift of miracle and to show my gift of prophecy can you say manifestation manifestation I love when God preserves us God preserve you to to broke you to prepare you so when you are going to be exposed you are going to be humble you are going to be submit you are going to be obedient that's why he preserved you to keep you to prepare you to form you to broke you to scratch you but when the time come, tack, 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 tack. When is the Kairos time? The time of the Lord. Even you are like David. You are there. Nobody knows you. Uh-huh. He will tell to the prophet Samuel. There's no one here. There's some somebody else. Somewhere. Bring it to me. I'm telling to somebody, they are going to call you. I said, they are going to call you. They don't love your face, but they will call you. They know that you are divorced, but they will call you. They know that you do not study a lot, but they will call you. They know that you have weakness, but they will call you. Why? Because tack, 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 tack. Now is the time of God for your manifestation. Can I talk to somebody? I prophesy over you now. I spoke manifestation. I said, I spoke manifestation. I spoke manifestation. Now the Lord, you know, the, the, the ministry of our father, for many years ago, he was working for the Lord. And in the Kairos time, God exposed him in the word to preach, to minister. And all the world talking about today, prophet Hubert Angel. And I'm telling to somebody, you are working for God many years ago now. Nothing. God sent me here in Zimbabwe. I take a fly, Kenya Airways, and I'm being here. Just to tell you that now is your time of manifestation. I say manifestation. God put something in you. You have a treasure in you. You have riches in you. You have an anointing. Oh my God. You have an anointing. An anointing. Jesus. An anointing. An anointing. I say, an anointing. I say, you have power of the humble. An anointing. You have it. You have it in your life. It's in your bones. It's in your flesh. God tell me to tell you that now is the time of your manifestation. God is going to bring your name great. Your name is going to, to come great. Everywhere they're going to speak about you. In newspaper, they're going to speak about you. In newspaper, they are going to speak about you. They are going to speak about you. They are going to speak about you. In the TV, they are going to speak about you. And don't forget something. When God is going to raise you up, raise up the name of Jesus. The purpose of God, what God exposed you, is not to be just popular. It's to make the name of Jesus popular. Everybody must know Jesus. Can you say amen somebody? Can you say amen somebody? The ministry is not to be popular. 
Popularity is not the purpose. It's the consequence. How can I say it in English? It's the product. We are not working in this year to be, celeb- uh, to be popular. No. We are working for the Lord. But it's just going to be the consequence to be popular. Why? Come, let me show you something, please. No, don't worry. I, I spoke to my spirit to, to don't release the anointing. Just do like this. Like this. Suppose something. No, take it. Take it. Suppose something. This is Jesus. And this is you. You have Jesus in your life. Do you see it? If you are like this, people are not going to see Jesus. Why? Because the person who have Jesus is here. That's why the strategy of the Holy Spirit is not to take Jesus and to raise him up. No. He will do what? He will take you. Paraso. He will lift you. 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 More you are lift, more Jesus is known. More you are exposed, more Jesus is lift higher. And this year, don't forget that. I came like a prophet. God will raise you. I'm, I'm telling you, you are not going to, to put your, your strength. No, it's not by might. It's not by my baby. It's by the Holy Spirit. That's why David pray and say, Lord, I know that I, I sin, but don't remove your Holy Spirit. Why? Because it's so our soul was without the Holy Spirit. A, a big king without the Holy Spirit. No, 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 no. I don't want to be like this. Lord, take all of me. Take all, but give me. I want just to stay with the Holy Spirit. By the Holy Spirit, God is going to manifest you. I said this week. I don't say like, I said this week. You are going to see signs. I say signs. I say signs. Signs of the work of God in your life. By the Holy Spirit. Say, we love you, Holy Spirit. Do you love the Holy Spirit? The Holy Spirit is not an experience. It's a person. I don't love the Holy Spirit because I want to prophesy. I don't love the Holy Spirit because I want the anointing, more anointing. Uh, even I don't have the anointing. I want just to say, a, just to stay a Christian. Huh? There, sitting there. No more prophecy. Just because I want to be comfortable with the Holy Spirit. We are spirit and mercy. Don't forget that. We are here for the Holy Ghost. <laughs> Do you love the Holy Spirit? <laughs> and he's telling me to tell you this year, it will manifest you. Without your strategy. Without your thinking. Without your strength. I'm telling you, you are not going to, to be waiting. It will just going to be a day like every day. But they will call you. But they will call you. Mrs. Mr. Evangelist Lee. Pastor so. Prophet so. We need you here. And they are going to give you serious money. I said, they're going to give you serious money. Kasopra. I say serious money. I say serious money. If you are, if you are with me, say yes. Say with me fire. Manifestation. Manifestation. I came like your mom telling you in the hospital push I say push the baby inside you now is ready he was prepared in the secret now is ready do like this with me do like this with me I say ba- I, I say baby that's why I'm working in holiness that's why I'm working in humility that's why I'm working in with focus because I have to keep my baby. Can you give me a bike, please? Can you give me that one? Oh, thanks. 
if I came from, if I came from the bank, and I have in this bank one hundred, uh, uh, one million dollars in this bank. This is your prophecy. One million. Sell me one million. One million in your bag. And you are just out. Going to your house. Just out like this. Why? Not because of the bag. But because of? Eh? But because of? I don't hear I can hear you. Because of what? Man inside. If you, somebody criticizes me, am I going to respond? Why? Does that mean that I don't have the ability to respond? <laughs> if I walk with my back and you insult me, I will just keep quiet. But it's not me that I don't know how to respond. I can come and, and give you good. Oh my God, it's, I'm just joking. <laughs> I'm just joking. <laughs> Precious Holy Spirit. <laughs> I was just joking. <laughs> this is Spirit Embassy. I love you. <laughs> I was just joking. <laughs> I was just joking, just, just joking with the Holy Spirit. I was just joking with the Holy Ghost. <laughs> I was just joking with the precious Holy Spirit. Do you love the Holy Ghost? Why? I will don't respond. Not because I don't have the ability, but because all oh my body is responding because the thing that I have inside that I took from the bank has value. Can you say amen? If you have the anointing, don't respond. Hmm? It's the game of the wicked one. Just be like this. Because of what? Of what you have inside. You have something great in you. I said, you have something great in you. God invests something great in you. More than the World Bank. God invests something great in you. Can you feel it? Can you feel it? Touch your belly. Don't touch it. You have something in you. I said, you have something in you. Your value is not... It's not because of your bank account. Your value is not because of your, your masters. Your value is not because of, of your cars. But it's because of the investment of God in you. That investment will bring you cars. We bring you money. We, give, we bring you masters. There is something in you. I said there is something in you. I'm telling you there is something in you. I have something more than one thousand dollar, more than one million dollar. I have the Holy Spirit. <laughs> Can you say amen, somebody? I is charged. It. It's like my my phone on charge. Incredible anointing here. <laughs> Come and take it. More than one billion inside. The anointing of my father inside. Come. Come and take your back. Just try. Help, help. Please help. Come, take this bike. 
Are you pastor? She's pastor here. I can see it in my spirit. God, God is ready to give you to give you a place in this ministry. Just stay here. Stay here. I'm telling you. Stay here. You are pastor. I don't know you, but I saw pastor. There is a prophetic anointing upon you. A, a mighty prophetic. God is going to speak to you t- through dreams and vision. Very strong. I see the spirit of prophetess Beverly Angel in you. Very impressive. You, listen, listen. Listen, I don't know her, but the Lord talked to me evangelistly. She took the place of somebody in this church. That's why the Lord spoke, spoke to me. She took the place of somebody. It was not her place. Somebody moved and she took her place. God is going to lift her up. This, this, this pastor. Come on. Be consecrated to the to the Lord this year. There's incredible anointing. Are you married? Where's your husband? The Holy Ghost. God is my witness. I haven't known. I'm telling you. God is my witness. I don't remember that is what is your wife. I don't know. God knows everything. I love you, Holy Spirit. This is your place. Here. It's your place. It's your place. It's your place. God saw your heart. In this season, God saw your heart. Inside. Inside. Not outside. God saw inside. Take your husband. Take him. Lord... I thank you for your sovereign will above all understanding. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Do your will. Have your way, Holy Spirit. Have your way, Holy Spirit. Have your way, precious Holy Spirit. Have your way. Have your way. Have your way. Jesus, mighty name. Have your way. Have your way. Have your way, Lord. God is faithful. I give him all the glory. I give him all the glory. Shout amen somebody. Shout amen somebody. I say shout amen somebody. I say shout amen somebody. Pra sopra. Pura sapa. Jasukale. Mariko Supra, para Supra Mande, Rika Masupra. I feel the love of Christ in this place. Can you say, man, somebody? Kumaru Supra, Shaba, manifestation. I say manifestation. I say manifestation. Shout manifest. Can I go ahead? Joseph, when God blessed him, he was with his brother. And they were just like, oh brother, now you are going to to kill us because dad is late. No, you can stay, man. Be cool. Can you say, man? Joseph told them, it's not your fault. God turned the bad thing into good to accomplish what He done today for me to be a blessing for you. When God bless you, forgive. When God bless you, forgive. When God bless you, forg- forgive your brothers. They don't know what they are doing. God is just using them. To change the bad thing into good. Can you shout amen somebody? 
I say shout amen. That's why when Jesus rose from the death, he took Peter and he forgave him. Why? Because he looked through his weakness to see the apostle of the church who is coming. You need to see through the eyes of Jesus. Can you shout amen? When he forgave them, he told them, yes, I love your presence around me, but there is somebody is not here. I need my father Jacob. Go and tell him all that you saw here. Bring him here. Because it's good to have you here, but I need somebody else. His name is Jacob. Let me tell you, it's not su- uh, sufficient for God to have us here have you to have you singing praising there is a jacob somewhere there is a thief somewhere there there is a sinner somewhere there and our mission is not that you just to stay here and worship no is to go and win souls and take jacob tell him that jesus loves you he needs you in that presence. Can I speak like an evangelist? In this present church of this age, we need reformation. We need real revival. Why? Because we put money before everything. Money is good, but it's not the, 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 the final things. You know, when we finish a month in our church, we are just like, how many money enter? But never how many souls are wins. In the end of the day, you are going to know your priority. One prophet say, Rick Joyner, he say, don't use your minister. Don't use people to build your minister. But use your minister, your ministry to build people. Because the main reason of the anointing is people. He said, you, will, you shall receive power when the Holy Spirit will come upon you and you will be my witness. Why? To bring Jacob and to bring